Welcome to Peace Walker. Was Steve Bloom in there? I completely missed that. I was too, too busy looking at the characters. I didn't see him. Yeah, Steve Bloom's probably in this. We'll hear him. We'll hear him if he's in here. Hey guys, welcome to Peace Walker. Home of the greatest Metal Gear ever. Um, I have watched Vinny play this one. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Gray's saying everything. Gray's in everything. Tara's in everything. Steve Bloom apparently in this. And I guess we'll get to see. This is Peace Walker. Oops. Yeah, I started it up to test how it worked. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. This is like... Let me explain it. Let me give you a little bit of, um, explaining to this. Configuration is similar to that of Monster Hunter Freedom series. Um, let me explain why you probably haven't heard of this one, Knox, as much. This one came out for the PSP. It's, like, the first portable... Well, not the... I guess it would be the second portable Metal Gear game that wasn't just a card game. The first one was the multiplayer stuff from Metal Gear Solid 3. This one is not. This one is... It's, so this is the first handheld Metal Gear game that has its own plot, continues the main plot... And it was originally for the PSP, but people liked it so much that they eventually ported it over to the PlayStation and the Xbox. Sorry, I'm eating an orange. That's probably why you haven't heard of this one as much. Because this one doesn't have a number attached to it. It's not one, it's not two, it's not three, it's not four, and it's not V. So, but it does have plot. This is the hidden gem in the Metal Gear series. And here we are. Alright, let's see. Shooter type. Continue. Configuration similar to that of Metal Gear Solid 4. I don't know how Metal Gear Solid 4 works. Metal, Metal, Metal Gear Portable Ops. See, I don't know any of these, so I guess I'll just go with Shooter type. Uh, weapon select settings. I don't remember... See, I don't remember how the other game felt. I'm gonna assume we can go back and change these later. You know what? This is probably the default. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. All right, guys. Oh, yes. Uh, just tell me how the audio sounds when we get into it. Tell me if it's too loud, too quiet. It shouldn't be too bad. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Also, if the audio gets glitchy, sorry about that. It's just uh, the loading screens are not great. This is recapping Metal Gear Solid 3. Big boss, naked snake. Aha! After the end of th after the end of three, snake disappeared. Ah, big boss. Konami Digital Entertainment presents Metal Gear Dan. Just in time, it's Peace Walker. A Hideo Kojima game before they kicked him out. Oh 
boy. Look who it is. Yeah, basically, Fee. Soldiers without borders. 1974. Stop. 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 Right there, Dan. David Hayter is this guy. Hey, boss, want to go around? Hey, Laura. All right, so this game's interesting because uh, a lot of the cutscenes are in like comic mode. Uh, uh, you'll see. It's not very long before we see the first one. Yeah, the art style is really good in this game. Oh, Look good. alive, ladies. Oh, good. This the is boss thing is going to join oh. us. Show them how it's done, boss. Your first priority I will. in any I don't know territory how to play the game. is knowing your surroundings. Your life depends on where you're looking and how fast you can identify your targets. I think we'll be good. Therefore, also, I think the Elgato might be too loud. Hold on. Moving your line of sight. To move your line of sight, use the right stick. Now, when I give you an order, look in that direction. All right, that should be better. Tell me how it is. All right, bye, Laura. Or his puppy. Good. Look down. Good. You should be familiar with Good. up and down controls now. Press is this portal? Button if you're ready to move on. Good. Even I think it's a little too loud. Oh, there we go. Okay. Next, we'll check your left and right. Look right. Good. Look left. Good. You should be familiar with the left and right controls now. Press the action Thank you. I know how to play the video game. Well, I know how to look around. Who is this? Okay. I don't know who this Let's is. Left and right on the right stick one more time. Look right. Good. Look left. Good. You should be familiar with the left and right controls now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. It draffles later, dude. Okay. I'm not you sure I got put here. I wasn't paying attention. In options. Go with the method that works best for you. Next, I'll explain how to change stances. If you just stand there like an idiot in front of an enemy, you might as well kill yourself now. At times, you will need to get low to avoid detection. You have three stances. Stand, crouch, and lying down. I don't... I don't know. Stances, I don't remember, button. dude. My memory's Pass really bad. Button to change between standing and crouching. You can move in either stance. Hold... Whoops. Crouch button's A. Well, actually, no, that was right, wasn't it? That was... Good. Look. Next, we'll work on your movement. Use the left <laughs> stick to move around. Tilt it a little to walk slowly. Tilt farther to run. Decide which to use based on your situation. Remember cool. that your footsteps are louder when running, making you easier to discover. Be careful. There seems to be some now sort of invisible wall. Rolling Keep is it out of here. For knocking down enemies in your way and for getting away when surrounded. You can also use it to jump over small ditches. I remember how to roll. Obstacles. So, roll, good thing this is all set up the way I want it. You got that? Tap the crowd. Oh, wait, no, that's running. Don't forget it. Is that how it usually was? No, I guess that's how it that's it! 
I guess that's how it was before. I thought it was X. You may run into an enemy unexpectedly. You may not have a weapon on you, or you may be out of ammo. You'll still need CQC attack strategy. One well placed strike, and the enemy won't know what hit him. To strike an enemy, press the attack button while standing still. On my command, press the attack button repeatedly and take down your opponent. Go. Oh, the Xbox is making a bad noise. Yeah, that looked like CQC. Next, we're gonna practice using the stun rod. Hitting someone with the stun rod will shock them with a million and a half volts. Anyone on the You guys see that bad noise my Xbox making? Press the aim button to ready it, then press the attack button. You'll be glad to know we're using mock stun rods for this training session. When your partner Impressive! Make him believe it's the How bad is the delay, by the way? Prepare Somebody do a delay test. And by that, I mean just count. No. I'm ready, boss. That is incorrect, boss. That wasn't right. There we go. Now we'll move on to CQC. 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 Combat refers to engaging an enemy in battle at very close range. It is a quick and efficient way of eliminating a threat. There are various CQC techniques. We will go over each of them. Don't get cocky because you think you know them. This will be different from what you're used to. Pretend you are learning it for the first time. The first technique is throwing your opponent. Did anybody do a delay test when I asked you guys? Position yourself near your opponent and press the attack button while you tilt the left stick. Be sure to press the attack button when the icon. I don't think any of you were listening now, to me. Wait for my command and throw your opponent. Go. I wasn't even listening to this guy. Yeah. Yeah, check the chat delay. Just count. Curious. Ah, oh, there we go. Impressive, boss. Let me have one of these guys. I'm going to teach you how to restrain oh. an opponent close to you. This is a cornerstone of CQC. I don't know. It just it seemed like thirty seconds. What you do from there is up to you. That's not bad. Just know that if you restrain him for too long, the average person will most That's likely pass out. Seven. Something to keep in mind. Let's seven. To restrain your opponent. Hold down the attack button while near them. Should Restrain probably be paying attention, right? On my command. Go. I'm ready, boss. I'm ready, boss. Fine work, boss. Oh. We will throw your opponent after restraining them. Also, this game introduces uh the, the freaking balloons, the by the way. Restrain your opponent. And throw the Fulton, the Fulton extraction. Go. I'm ready, boss. I'm ready, boss. Don't even realize what he said. That is incorrect, boss. What? There we go. I did it. Impressive, boss. Now we will. Oh, Knox, you get to see the Fulton balloons. You can also take out a group of enemies by throwing an opponent you have restrained. First, restrain an opponent by pressing the attack button near them. Then, tilt the left stick to throw them. By tilting oh, the this better be as funny as I think it's going to be. You can send your captive flying straight into them. On my command, yes, this better be funny. Throw your opponent. Go! I'm ready, boss. Oh, I missed them! That is incorrect, boss! I didn't do anything. That is incorrect, boss. God. <laughs> that is incorrect, boss. That is incorrect, boss. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> boss. Again. Go. I'm ready, boss. What? Was it because I didn't do it first try? See ya. Fine work, boss. Alright, why don't we do something special since the boss is here? Anyone who feels like getting their ass kicked, step forward. Don't hold back, boss. When you're surrounded by multiple enemies, you'll have to take them on one after the other. To do it, simply press the attack button again while throwing the current enemy. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Go! I'm ready, boss. Hell's 
Tails, yes! Oh my god! Fine work, boss! Wow, that was awesome! Again? What do you mean again? Oh, I'm glad I missed. There we go. Oh, this game's incredible! Oh, Kojima! You're the best! Thank you, Kojima! That's it for today! Thank you, boss! Here's what I was talking about with the, the cutscenes. You guys might like this. Because this was a portable game first. They didn't bother to, like, render, render the cutscenes. So they did this instead. What's going on, Kaz? We've got guests. Time to move. Don't worry, it's not our friends from Langley. I brought him. Made sure we won't follow. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snack. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. This guy here, this isn't Steve Bloom, is it? So, I completely missed the credit. Distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia. Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. That can't be. Oh my god! Over the past year. That's Steve Bloom. I don't know why the cutscenes are so much quieter. That might be an option. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article I can't even hear it. It's so freaking quiet. Is there a remote to this stupid phone? There she is! My favorite! No, no, they don't appear to be gorillas. They're far. Where's their remote? Uh, the authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? You're gonna have to get up to my TV and listen to it. Yeah, that's absolutely Steve Bloom. Managed to maintain a delicate value. That's frickin' Steve Bloom that spikes Beagle. Just... Unfrickin' believable. I was making a joke earlier. I was like, hey, it's me, Spike Spiegel, and it's me, Solid Snake. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. Please reconnect it's controller. Thanks. War and can maintain an army. I understand. Drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes. As our deterrent. I'm gonna turn the game up a little. We can't so afford can to pay much, it's true. But we can offer you this: a forward operating base. An I might just have to turn out Green Boy. To be honest. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The governments agree to cooperate. And start a family, Snake. Of course. 
A chopper for transport would be nice too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't gonna do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. Negotiator? Did you just say, brum, 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 big O? Big O, well, big brand, and 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 Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. This is my student. She came there she to is. study peace. My favorite character! Pas, Pas Ortega. Pas. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Yeah, boy. Peace you, Pas. Call me... Cause. Uh, they've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon. <laughs> she wants nothing to do with you, Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. Sixteen years old. They did terrible things to her. But somehow she managed to escape. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, my God. She's Huifana. Her mother died when she was small. And she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. She hates war with a passion like no other. Let me go, my go back on and off. And I will do anything to protect my namesake. My name is Paz. I am very clearly Tara Strong. Hello, it's me, Tara Strong. Get them out of my She's not British. I don't know why she was British there. Leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, Big Boss. That is why we've come to Big you. Big Boss. Take a snack. I'll tell you guys later, 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 later why I didn't want to zoom in. And by later, I mean like in the finale part of this. I know that sounds weird, but you'll see what I mean later on. No, it's not that. It's not that. Miller here. It's you not copy? that. I see you've landed. All right? That's that not. That makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending Goodness. this from the offshore plant, our mother base. The signal is unidirectional. I'll be giving you commands and advice through this channel. Keep your headphones on at all times and pay attention. Also, make sure no one else can listen in. Where is volume? There's seriously no volume? Ah, frick. Ah, frick. Ah, frick. Seriously, no volume, huh? Snake. Are you clear on the controls? Take a minute to yeah, refresh I'm your the controls. memory. Use the left stick to move. Use oh, the I right I'm stick not. to adjust your view. What? What'd you say? We're gonna try normal mode. To change your settings, use the start button to open the menu. <laughs> There's no one around. Why not try some shooting practice? Select a target and squeeze okay. off so, round or two. It's a little Press different the X and B buttons in the last few games, RB or at least what I remember weapon. from the last few games. Ready your weapon with See, now this feels weird. Then press RT to fire. How about a little shooting practice? Try hitting a coconut. I will try hitting a coconut. Select Thank equipment you. by pressing the X or B button while holding LB. To Don't tell me how to play the game. The See now this feels weird again. The M16 
is a standard assault rifle, capable of rapid fire. It's inverse. It shouldn't. Okay. We're switching it to normal. The I'll get used to it. For what? Past that oh, this is only shooting direction, isn't it? Yeah, it's only aim mode. What am I talking about? A grenade should be able to take out that gate. There we go. God. You throw them, snake. Use LT to ready throwing weapons. Once you ready the weapon, I was only changing the aim mode direction. But guys, I'm an idiot. Hold the attack button down longer to throw farther. You won't throw the weapon until you let go of the button. Right. Okay, that seems about right. X does. Oh, X turns on auto aim. B does what? B reloads, which is weird. Although I guess it was always like that. That while well, not aiming just does a CQC. That aiming and that does that. Okay. okay. That just swaps the stun. The stun rod. Okay. Stun rod. More like gun rod. I suppose if I hold it. Oh, I actually kind of like this. This is like a lot easier than the other games, to be honest. Boat. I want to go on a boat ride. Cause, can we go on a boat ride? I also gotta get used to not being able to jump. Ah, because that's target. absolutely a thing in this Looks game. Like you won't be the first to put some holes in it. Some peaceful paradise. That means you're not alone out there. The enemy could be near. Why not sharpen your skills here a bit before you bump in? Press the back button to turn on auto aim. Press back again to turn it off. With auto aim. Oh, I see. Oh! Only problem is, you can oh. specific body parts. Auto aim effectiveness will vary from weapon to weapon. That's cool. Alright, I like auto aim a little. Alright, let's just go. Alright. What? No, oh. I was trying to leave. But uh, it was actually just a, okay. We're going over here. That's how you. That's how you freaking uh, shimmy sham. Not enough room. Is why. Huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Dang it! How do I? How do I crawl? Can I not? Can I not crawl in this game? Like crawl on the floor? Can I only just lay down? Oh, that's kind of dumb. Oh, right, I think we just return back. Alright, I'm gonna have to get used to these controls, but I'm already liking this a lot. That sucks, man. Can't crawl in Peace Walker. Neil, ready to eat. Recovers life. Select from equipment window. Yeah, that's actually a little weird, come to think of it. You're right about that. Alright, what's up? Snake formation. What? Toggle on off when the action button is pressed. What is snake formation? That's probably something later, actually. Come to think of it. Auto-aim, auto-assist, control for big. Initial direction, standard direction. Got it. Stick. Okay. Well, there's no volume control, which kind of blows, especially since the cutscenes are very low volume. But maybe we can make a, uh, maybe we can compromise here. We'll leave it at 24 for now. We'll see how that sounds. Maybe I blow this up with a bomb? Okay, I gotta get used to this. Here we go. Have some of this. Ugh. I'll see you later, Kaz. I gotta thank you for agreeing. What? Snake. Man, am I glad to 
to be out of here. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. Break it Why am I in equipping my clothes? Snake's doing it for the child. Get naked! Sorry, that reminded me of Kill a Kill. Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore plant. A place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't need a place to stay, Kaz. We're nomads. We always will be. What? You'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settled out, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. <sighs> Look, it's not like we're trying to start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a sec. That would mean... Our friend... The so as you can see, after KGB. three, Snake turned into a crazy man with a crazy beard, and he's kind of a hobo now. And there'd be no turning back. God. Damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, guys. It's time for a little chat with the professor. Hmm. Yeah, boy! That's the best. I was ahead. Also, the second game we played in a row. When I got my um, from the Secretary General was freaking this prosthetic hand lit lighter. But smoking was ruining what? my lungs, so I quit. I've not had much use for it since. It's quite an honor to meet the legendary big boss. That's Thanks, just Steve. Name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. <laughs> I don't have a name. Stop using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at the center? Well then, <laughs> I love the like choppy points. robotic way he moves. Like yeah, people. Land as slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet Neruda. Central America is the navel of the American continents, bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua, toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, we've begun instigating anti-Somoza sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. You're manipulating Sandinista into overthrowing Somoza for you. After the revolution, Nicaragua will become a socialist state. You think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. What? That is the million dollar question. Big Boss, 
We want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility in La Costa where Paz was imprisoned. Learn all you can of their operations. Then drive them out of the country. Beanie, can we rewatch uh, freaking Big O? Huh. You're asking us Is it time yet? Can we rewatch re Big O? Has it been long day. enough? What about her? That was all just an act. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd nice. fall for a sob story. No. I had good reason to bring her along. She managed to escape with her life, but her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they were supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took this during her escape. She says her friend happened to record it by accident. Jack, what is that? A portable stereo cassette player, the first of its kind. Ah, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. I believe what you're about to hear will help you understand. What is that? A quetzal? A phoenix bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to report bird calls and stumbled upon this. <laughs> That's what was on the cassette tape. Problem solved. So? So what? Now it gets interesting. Yeah. I think that that's what it meant. You can't. The snake's too vicious. It's all. Many people. I chased it away. It will bite you unless you kill it. Go home. Boss. Voice print analysis confirms that this voice is indeed that of the legendary hero. And. Guys, that was Boss! Boss. What? The Boss! Mother hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your There she is! The love of my life! I Boss! I am loyal to myself. Boss is alive in Costa Rica. Oh, the boss is alive! She was your commander, fought by your side. And that you killed her under orders from the CIA. So that time we shot out that missile and chased her around with it. That never happened then, huh? Mom? Hi. Mom! Okay. I'll clean my room. Bye. I'm screaming. Will you take the job? Snake, it's gotta be a trap. So you still can't turn your back on your country. Then I suppose you won't need this. Wait! Okay, great. I'll snake? My room. I'm doing for the girl. For Paz. Okay. Thank you. For peace, then. Not make us really upset. He's stupid. Cool. I left my mic on, huh? Cool. I left my mic on, huh? Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. We're professional. I gotta kill this doofus. I don't even know what this guy's doing in the fort. 
Is this even a, a military guy? This is this or is this just a hunter? Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever. Actually, just bought basically bought me something at a yard sale. It's all that really the did was to hear. Hi! Oh shit! <laughs> It's me too in real life. Also hit. <laughs> this game's the best. Oh, this game's the best. This game is just the, the best. The indicator in the upper right serves as a compass and shows sound sources. Pay attention to your surroundings. The percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. Keep your eye on what's oh, left just of your light gauge on the left of the screen. To the right of that, you'll see your sight gauge. Exhausting it will inhibit your actions. Your light gauge will recover with oh, hey. sight gauge too. You'll recover faster crouching than standing up. Lying wow, that guy's a pretty dead. I think I have to... Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I know, seriously. I don't even think there's any Kodak calls in this. Take your clothes off. Fine. How do I even do that? How do I take my clothes off, doodles? Oh my goodness. I cannot let you in here. You're not allowed. Doodles, if you can find out how to take clothes, let me know. Ryan Phantom, it says my name there. Namek just let out a big meow. He's upset. Yep. Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. Well, yeah, good. Alright, the credits are playing. Finally, we're getting the Metal Gear credits during this scene. Hmm. I don't even have my gun enabled. I took off my gun. Oh, I got, I got my, uh, my boy here. Oh. 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 Ow, I took a... Oh, God! Where are all these bullets in my body coming from? Oh, God! Oh, 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 that's why I took so many. <laughs> it was a stun gun. Oh, well, too late now. Already wasted all the freaking bullets. Okay, well. Oh, good. All right, see you later. Okay, see you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Uh, uh. Oh, nope. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, hold on, guy. I'm back. That's it. Understood. No more. No more interruptions. Alright, I'm sorry. I apologize. My no mom wanted to show me all the stuff Security's she bought it. Too tight. There's no way Frickin' you can charge it yard now. sales today, Shake so... Those guys first. 
She got me something cool off to show you guys later. So you can only change clothes at the base? That makes sense, I guess. Where the hell is everyone? Cool, 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 cool. When damage pops up, it looks like it says OMG. Just saying, is that guy still alive or... This game's the best! Yeah! Ah, shoot. OMG! Huh. You agree, right? It looks like it says OMG. Which, uh, ironically, is what OMG stands for. Hey, dude. Bones Ringer, dude! Bones Ringer, dude! That guy's full of bullets. Who is shooting me? Good old Ryan's getting out of this one. I gotta get back into melee and not Bioshock mode here. Bioshock mode, which is just kill. Metal Gear mode, which is just sick. I can't move across walls either. That's pretty dumb. Yikes! I'm getting out of here! See you later! Where the hell even am I supposed to be going? I can't get up there because high security. Can I get into one of those doors? Didn't look like it. Oh, no is she opening? Boss. No. Security's too tight. Thanks, security's too tight. Man, now I just want to watch Big O. Be it right. No more guys. Right? What? <laughs> Death screams. There's another one. Well, they're not totally dead. That's the thing. I don't want auto aim on anymore. There we go. They just keep coming. And snake side. What's wrong? Boss! Boss! Game over. I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty freaking beat. I'm if pretty you think tired, you're about my dude. To die, use a ration or a recovery item. Can't be too careful. I know what you're thinking. Ryan, that wasn't in a gameplay for a stream right as a of, an, of, of Metal Gear. That wasn't enough! Surrounding. It's mostly just cutscene and you complaining a lot. Well, I got something to tell you guys. Kinda wanna be playing Drawful right now. <laughs> Also, there's a bee in my room. A hornet, to be exact. You know what? I don't like bees.
keys in my room. Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. I gotta get a feel for this, um, the CQC in this game. A cardboard box? What are you gonna use that for? Oh, is that a box? Yeah, boy. Love box. Bees in my room. Yeah, that bee's kind of freaking me out, guys. Not gonna lie. I really freaking hate bees. This is normal, right? Oh my god. What a freaking idiot. Bye! I don't even know where the bee is now. He kind of left me. Stopped his buzzing. And that's never great, because it means they're hiding. Yes, sir, Ambrose. Required the whereabouts of Target 500. Acknowledged. <laughs> The barge is cleared Port Bravo. Acknowledged. Ow. Oh! God! Guys, I forgot there's two T's. Minor two oh, T's. headed. What is it? In the mountains. What's up there? Bees! Lots of bees! That guy has a lot of ID cards. This is Snake. Kaz, can you hear me? Loud and clear. You found a radio. It's got a <laughs> versus the audio phase. Let's switch frequencies from time to time, just to make sure we're not. Don't worry, th this is all explained. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading from the marshes west towards Irasu. Nice going, boss. Cause this place is full of film badges, dozens of them. Film badges, like the ones used to measure radiation exposure. Yeah, the radio man. Oh. And whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Uh-oh! Oh and that was all the intro sequence. If you would believe it. And you would, because it's Hideo Kojima. We've been streaming for an hour and six minutes. Guys, that was the intro to the game. I got a bee. For oh god, there's a bee in my room. Get it out. Alright, so this game's a bit different. You can upgrade weapons, and there's cause. It tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. 
Said you should get in touch with the FSLN Commandante. Hmm. Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Blanco Treaty, which declares Latin America... no one would ever system. look. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Openall will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. The treaty was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it... Latin America is too close to spawning another time. Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Be... Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away it's with it. It's a wasp. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Where are these Why evil, them evil bugs coming I from? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA is up to in Costa Rica, the professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. It's like they're always we hanging out in my room. First, Kaz. Repairs. Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. Looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it heaven. No one can bother us here. No state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven. Our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than... Good old nuclear deterrence! Junk, They've never mentioned that in any of these video games. And talked about it for hours. Alright, guys. So, this is our new base. It's kind of like Big Shell. It's it's out... It's out in the middle of uh, the ocean. Here it is, look. Welcome to MSF, uh, Military Sense Frontier. Mother Base, San Frontier, sorry. Mother Base can support your mission in many different ways, from developing new weapons to collecting intelligence. One thing I never got about that, they name, like, everything in this game French. Why is that? Alright, so. This is gonna be a little confusing, but I think we'll get the hang of it. Or not. Who knows? Still no audio options, huh? Thanks, Booth. Welcome back. First is ops. We're not going to be doing any of that. R&D to develop new weapons. Look at tutorial on it. Nah, we can figure it out, right? Alright, so eventually... 28 or higher. We can put more people into more sections to add, try to upgrade weapons, which is pretty cool. But I have a feeling we won't get to do that. Stuff like that until much later. Thanks. I think everybody knows that French, to be honest, Boo. There's the Fulton. Can I buy the Fulton? Damn it! I need level 5 to make a Fulton. to get rid of this wasp. Like, how do you get rid of a wasp? Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Great. Jim the intern cheered. Thanks. What was the question? The, the answer is the bot still does not work. It's the wrong thing. Yeah, they don't have a cheer setting on the thing that I'm using. They only have a bit setting, and I figured that was the same thing, but it's not. Fatigues. Naked. Here you go. This is what you want, right? Raw, intense combat. How do you equip, though? Oh, that's just R&D. Hold on. No, screw it. Bobcat. Lobster. Oh, you know what? Hold on. No, wait a minute. I don't know where... I think these are all the basic staff, but you assign these guys to 
certain things, and they will help boost it a lot. So say if we assign them to... If we assign them to R&D, Cabbage. If we assigned, like, say, Miller R&D, we'd get up to level 2. Yeah, see? So, say, if we wanted to assign all of these to R&D, theoretically, is there a limit? No, there's not a limit. I am literally putting everyone into R&D. He's a white cabbage man. He's a gross white cabbage man. That's why. By the Fulton, right? Team level required to produce five. I am at five. Oh, uh, do I have to? Rank one. Inventory. No, there's just a name. There's just a guy named Cabbage White. I swear to God, if that wasp, we weren't calling. God dang it, dude! I swear to God, if that wasp was up there creating a nest, I'm gonna lose my shit. Yes. Alright, well, none of that seems to work. And I guess I could upgrade a weapon. Well, can't upgrade that yet. Oh yeah, I need 28 for that. Alright, so. We might actually already have them, come to think of it, so. What did I just do? Oh, I just went to the mission. Oh no, this is, oh no, this is online. No, we're quitting. Okay, doodles, it's fine. Oh, LT is, okay, LT is mission. All right, well, let's try to do our first mission here. There's pause, my favorite. Oh, Snake has knocked out a radio s soldier in the supply foods. Is that the main one? MSF soldiers only. Contact Sandista Commandant. I think this one here is the main mission at top. Main, main ops. Extra ops. Oh, got it. Okay. We'll do an extra op. The boss we'll do, has infiltrated we'll do this full the area around the coastal supply facility and knocked out the soldier there. But we can't just leave him there to be found. I need you to get in there and capture the unconscious soldier using the Bolton recovery system. Do it quickly before he comes to. Briefing files, mission prep. So you can mission prep to uh, actually activate the items here. Yeah, I can't, I can't play a snake either. Okay, and I put literally everyone into R&D. <laughs> I just need one guy, please. I put everyone into R&D. <laughs> like a jack wagon. God dang it. <laughs> the best at fighting. This guy's a C, D, E. Let's take this C guy. Alligator. We're putting you into nothing. 
Rack and standby. Nice. Cool roundabout beam. Toe to tip. Alright, I think we'll get in the hang of this. This isn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Okay. The boss has infiltrated the area. Yep, 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 I know. Mission prep. I want to be... What? I have to put them into combat. This is going well. I want to not... We'll spend maybe 30 more minutes on this, and then we'll move on to Drawful. I don't want to spend any longer putting off Drawful, because I know people are waiting for it. I just... I like this game. Maybe I'll do a lot of um, side missions off-stream. Try to get stuff up. Okay, we gotta put freaking alligator into combat, please. Okay. Combat. Alligator now in combat. Alligator. Okay. Alligator activated. I can make this guy naked. Dun, dun, dun. Probably gonna... Oh, yes. No. Probably just gonna go with the default... No, we're gonna go with the one. Comrade! Survival. DPM. Standing on jungle or dirt surfaces. Okay. No, I don't need any of that. Fulton recovery system is active, which is what I need the most. All right, start. Let's do it. You guys get to see the Fulton recovery system in action. This is going to be fun. You guys, pay attention. This is going to be good. Use Fulton recovery to bring back knocked out soldiers. To use Fulton recovery on a soldier, get up next to them so the icon appears and push the action button. Check and see how professional it does, guys. Try using Fulton recovery on There he goes. Bye. Head for the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. <laughs> and that's how it works. I don't know if the recovery zone's over here or not. That area is not part nope. of the mission. Yep, and Nox, that's how it goes for the rest of the game. Because you can pick up soldiers and add them to your staff with the Fulton. And that's basically uh, where it says there's a limit of 100 soldiers you can freaking take from a mission. Yeah, get ready to see that Fulton being used a lot. Here it is. I'm dumb. You did it. Keep it up. He's using it himself. Whee! Oh my goodness. The Fulton is the best. I'm so sad it took them this long to put it in a game. It was only in two games. It's in this game and it's in five. V, sorry. Yes, it is. This is probably the best one, in my opinion. This is my favorite. R&D reports. Huh. Huh. 
I'm always saying it to freaking spite you now. Right. Embark on a mission. Ramon, a.k.a. Stephen Bloom. Full recovery, did it. <laughs> oh, I get it. We did that one already. Okay, so we haven't done this one. Snake, I rigged that radio so you can contact our young lady friend, Poss. Is she okay? No need to worry. She's young you lady think. friend, Still just Poss. Is. Which is exactly why she could be an effective source of information. Besides, that little Angel de la Paz is the one who gave us this mission, right? Uh, I guess. I'll put her on. Snake. Paz, where Snake. are you? Snake. Ciudad Colon. A school. The teacher told me to stay here until things quiet down. Teacher? Oh, him. He's... Yeah, that's probably good advice. See, he has a radio in his room, so we can talk anytime. Hmm. Pretty fancy for a teacher. Promise me, Snake, that you'll bring back peace and... I know. I'll contact you if I find your friend. Thank you. Snake, if you need to know about Costa Rica, the geography, the climate, the wildlife, anything, just ask me. I know about its history and laws, too. We learned it all in school. Got it. I have a question. I'll ask. I, uh... What? In school, I also learned that peace is an unnatural state for human society. And that war is a constant threat to our relationships with others. That's right. So, to achieve peace, we have to create it ourselves. Crying about it won't bring it about or make it last. Each one of us must go and seek it out. You won't find it without making sacrifices. No offense, but I don't know what peace is. Never felt what it's like. Uh, never even been interested in it. Literally, the game's called Peace uh, Walker, and sorry. there are two characters named Peace Listen, in different guys, I languages. Think your ideas are admirable. And I hope they turn out to be right. Yeah, me too. Peace is in your name. Who better to help bring it back? Thanks. Also, don't forget that this snake, Big Boss, is a little softer than Solid Snake. He has emotions. Use your radio to call people. But He's just learn, grumpy. You're in the middle of a mission and can't afford to let your. Unlike down. Solid, who has no emotions and Think is no just more grumpy. About Costa Rica, Haas can help you out. Good to know. We'll follow their transport route. This should take us straight to their main base. From what I've seen, it looks like nukes. Agreed. The key thing now is to confirm whether those Thanks, boop. really are what we think they <laughs> Great. are. Great. And if so, why they're here. Follow the transport route. Find the nukes. That's what I'm thinking. First, we should make contact with the Sandinista Comandante. They can tell us more about what's up ahead. But it looks like their hideouts already come under attack. <laughs> we better hope they're still alive. Snake, infiltrate that cabin and secure the Sandinista's Comandante. Neutralize any guards by knocking them out, putting them to sleep, or even using the Fulton recovery system. You choose nice. how to handle it, boss. Get the Fulton! Single. Why would I want to do co-op? Frick that. Mission prep it. Alright, Fulton. Put Fulton there. Binos. Oh, binoculars. I don't need binoculars. Screw it. Camera. Walkman. Allows you to change background music. I like that very much. Yeah, we need that. Oh, you know what it is. We, uh... We're not switching. That's what it is. Hold on. Uh, ration. Oops. Box, yes. We'll cover Psyche. Bigger card drip. Binoculars. binoculars. Nope. Oh, this is all. Okay. Yeah, we're probably good here. Screw it. We'll bring the binoculars and we'll bring the camera? I mean... I'm not sure what good the camera is, but we'll bring it. 
You guys wanted me to go naked. I'll go naked. Oh my god! That's a lot of D's. Look, B. It's all B's except for that one A, and then just. Oof. Why am I going mad again? I mean, if you guys want me to try naked... Doodles, why'd you want me to go naked? Will he contact me? Or do I have to call him? I haven't actually found out how to call people on the, the codec yet. Fine, I'll go naked. But I can't bring any items if I'm naked! Ah, oh, jeez. I'll do naked on another mission, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not going without any items or weapons. That freaking sucks, dude. Yeah, no thanks. I'll do it another time. How do I buy ammo? I guess I don't. I guess I'm gonna have to hope the ammo just fills itself. Hi, Paws. You cute little puppy. Country without an army. All right. I have 20 minutes. I'm gonna try to make progress in 20 minutes. Don't. I'm not very good at CQC, is what I've learned, so. I have the Fulton. I have, what? Is that nine Fultons? You can use the radio you just picked up by pressing the start button to open the menu window. You know you can assign the radio to Hells the yes. back button by choosing options from the menu window. Hells yes! <laughs> hey, dude. See you later. This game's incredible. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Bye. Get used to that, because I'm going to be using the Fulton a lot. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. <laughs> That's the Nowheresville. <laughs> Yeah, it's stupidly cartoonish, and I love that. I'm supposed to be going over there. Keep an eye out here for uh, people. Making good time already. That's a little scary. Please be a good shot. <laughs> awesome. Ah, oh, come on, dude. What's going on? Don't run. Come on. Rise and shine. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? My friend just fell asleep after waking me up from a nappy nap. I heard gunfire! 
Oh, well. Good night. Well. Because the silencer. See, Knox, I knew you loved the Fulton. It's kind of your best. Subject confirmed on board helicopter. All right. It really is. It's the friggin' best. The boathouse should be close by. Neutralize the security detail and make. I really like this map that pops update. up during the loading screen. That's great. Really helps you find your way around a lot easier than the other games. Is that silenced? I can't... The picture shows silenced, but... Did I... Oh. I don't know how I reapply silencers. First of all, I don't even think I have any left. Neutralize that security detail. All of them. Enemies close by. Ooh. Ooh, I'll see you later. It's either that or take out every last enemy soldier. Negative. Can't spare reinforcements. You'll have to make do with what you have. Doesn't cause the game to do that. Whoops. Ah! What happened, Snake? Snake! Ah, oh, jeez. Here we go again. Snake! Snake! I hope it's just gonna start me where I left off, right? <laughs> what? Why? To aim your weapon. Try turning auto aim on. Why no auto save? It's tough to aim your weapon. Try turning on auto aim. Push the back button to turn it on. Why no auto save though? Okay. All right, well, see you later, I guess. Guess I gotta run back to where I was. Fulton recovery helicopter is com It's com Here comes that snake boy. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Keep it here at the base. Playing around with you punksters this time around. Wait. <laughs> Fucking guy didn't even see it. Unbelievable. See you boys later. detail and make contact with the commandant. What happened? Did you meet Macklemore? I must just said McElroy. Who was that? <sighs> Gotta watch that silencer.
Nice. Hey now. Cause Doodles is a freaking nerd. Got him. Why can't I be Snake? Then again, I don't think I really want to be Snake. I'm miserable. It's true. I did dress up a snake. Confirmed. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Unfortunately, I don't think the silencer is on anymore. Shot fired! Luckily, I think there's only one guy left. The enemy's attacking! Going to alert status! Understood. Maintain heightened alert. Good. You shook him. They're still looking, though. Don't make it easy. I think that was basically everyone, cause. Yep, it was everyone. You're bringing him? Ah, uh, yes, I remember them. They're awesome. I'm looking for someone. Mi viejo! Shh! He's dead. They killed nuestro viejo. You're his daughter. Then that makes you his delegado, right? Relax, I'm not your enemy. Cuban. Hmm. Hmm. Cigar? I'll take whatever you've got. I owe you one, but I prefer cigarettes, you know. How do I look? A little like this. Amanda, it's Gray. Gray Delisle's here, everyone. Good news. Gray Delisle and Tara Strong. Just what everybody at the team up, everyone asked for. Nope. The team up that's in every single show ever. Okay. We can talk until I finish this. Chico! <laughs> Tell me what's going on here. This place is crawling with soldiers. They don't look like private security. More like hired guns. They're loaded with the latest gear from all over the world. I heard that I can't go on my phone. Where you know my phone is. And I'm Papa Noel. Those guys are UCLA's. Papa Noel! Santa Claus! Setting up shop in town. They're planning to do here what they did in Chile. If that's the case, what are they after? Whatever it is, it's not us. You don't think they're here to push you back into Nicaragua? Impossible. Too much hardware. Too many bases. Didn't you see? They've got helicopters, tanks. It's like we're in Dane. There must be something else. They have a base near here. There's a factory to the north, across a suspension bridge. Factory to the north, across a bridge. Have you seen the big transport boat? Here, mercenary crew on Rio del Hade. You don't see my phone. You mean the barge? It's upstream from here. Up toward Yarasu. Mm -hmm. 
Any idea what's on it? I could introduce you to some of our compass up there, but I don't recommend going. Compass? To I have a compass. Womp womp. They take us captive, torture us for information about our compass, and then they kill us like pigs. Sorry. All right. This was our last hideout, the final refuge for El Frente, after being pushed out of Nicaragua and into this peaceful paradise of Costa Rica. Then, then the <coughs> threw our pact. A monster. Mi viejo. Mi viejo. Papá, tú es la esperanza. Now that Papa's gone, my sister's like Commandant de la Revolución. Do not listen to him. Papa was a hero who fought by Sandino's side. I am only his daughter. You need a special talent to become Cacique. It takes someone great to unite uh, all of Las No offense, but your dad Sorry, looks Sarah. like the end. Leaders don't choose themselves, neither do heroes. When you carry on his legacy of La Esperanza, no folio, no question. You think so? My compass trust me, but not one of them. Sound familiar, that. Snake? The oh, boss? Yeah. You carry on her legend. See what I mean? El Colibri! Again with the Vocaloid. Listen, I say it'll be explained later, alright? And it will. It will explain much later. Get for the QT for some That's a mess. An unmanned weapon. A robot. Chico! Chico, no! He won't survive the fall. Out of my way! Better for him to die at the hand of a compa and suffer their torture. I like how some of them are just like, Stay here. you know, while well, well, most of them are just simple drawings and like Snake is just... Just... So much pencil to stop. Yeah, it's Jotaro. This is Jojo. The video game. Where the hell is my phone? I hear it buzzing, too. Which is the most annoying part. Alright. Well. So we met a bunch of other soldiers, except uh, the leader's little brother just got stolen. That's not great. And also, there's a flying robot. Which also isn't great. Snake, what was that thing? Whatever it was, it looked unmanned. Unmanned? I heard rumors, but an operational unit? What the hell is going on here? Not to quote Amanda, but the hardware they've got here isn't just unusual. It's overkill, which means one thing. It's nukes. So the Seriously? question now becomes, why? We can't make that call yet. We need more intel. How? Our source is dead. But his daughter isn't. Good thing. Thanks, but it was on my bedside. Head for the where, next you know, it should have been. Alright, bye. If she's still alive. Roger. It was on my bedside the whole time. 
Yes, I found my phone, thanks. By the way, that was Doodles. Doodles was calling me. Report from the RNG team. Let's go to Mother Base. Let's check it. Check it out. Check it out. And then we'll move on to Drawful, I promise. After, after this. We did it just in time, which is good. Disposable rocket launcher, compact and light, making it possible to carry several at once. That's nice. Development. We just got seven new members! And one new one new member joined unit. Wait, what? Whatever. We'll check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Alright. Check out the staff real quick. Let's assign some of this staff. I can hit auto assign. Let's hit auto assign. Yeah! Yeah! Auto sign. Yeah, the Fulton! We got three people in combat, 20 people in frickin' R&D. Great. Let's check out R&D before we stop playing Metal Gear. And start playing Drawful or Quiplash. Whatever. I don't know, man. It's whatever. It's whatever. other Fulton can be upgraded so it says I have 106 of these but where are they I'm not exactly sure how to like equip more ammo and stuff before I go on a mission Screw it, let's upgrade it. Alright, so that'll upgrade while I'm out on missions, if I remember correctly. It's also upgrading very slowly while we sit here. But that's no fun, so we're not going to do that. Analyzer's ready to go. I said, I'm not really sure how to, like, buy stuff. Versus staff, R&D. Maybe it's under missions. Hold on. Before we stop, let me check. Listen up. For us, there is no victory. It's me, David Hayter. I don't know how to buy ammo. I'm gonna have to look into that. Like I said, I might do some of these extra ops off stream if that's alright with you guys to try to get uh, the hang of this game. But not too many. I want to do some on stream. 